Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Post Show Show here on the Common Sense Club and the Scott Hennon uh, Show. I'm going to take my headphones off and tell you a little bit about what you missed if you weren't able to de- join us on the show today. For one, we had a big debate about the proposed tuition increase that President Dean Brashani at NDSU wants. For one, he says, look, we're getting jammed. You know, we got uh, 4,000 more students than UND, yet they got a bunch more money than we did last year. So he's making that argument. He's also saying... Over the last 10 years, tuition has increased on average about 8.1%. NDSU has grown, so 8.8%. While it's more than the cap suggested by the Board of Higher Ed or the legislature or the governor, uh, it's necessary unless we want to cut to the bone. That's President Bershani's take. A lot of folks don't agree with that take, including some legislators, one of of whom joined us in the program, Mark Dosh. Uh, In defense of President Bershani, Kathy Hawken, two Republican legislators. Interesting debate. Check it out right here at scotthannon.com if you didn't hear it. And, uh, by the way, listen for President Bershani. He'll join us next week, and we'll continue to follow that debate very closely. We also had uh, an interesting discussion about the GOP presidential debate. You know, Tim Pawlenty really did well in that debate. Uh, he was there. Herman Cain was there. Rex Santorum was there. Gary Johnson. Uh, who am I forgetting? Ron Paul was there. But who wasn't there? Newt Gingrich. Uh, Mike Huckabee, is he going to be in? Mitt Romney is in. Wasn't there. Uh, you know, is Michelle Bachman coming? How about... Uh, How about our friend uh, Sarah Palin? Anyway, uh, some people think it's too early, including uh, the head of the Republican National Committee. We talked a little bit about that. We really basically said Tim Pawlenty was number one, Rex Santorum two, and Herman Cain was a rock star. It's fabulous. He won the grassroots poll, uh, by the way. But uh, we want to continue that discussion on whether you think it's too early. Uh, Tim Pawlenty's making the point it might be too late. And uh, if we wait any longer, it will be. He wants to get this started sooner rather than later. So good discussion on that as well. Also had some incredible guests. John Bolton, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., he called him, uh, the President Obama incompetent. He said he was unpresidential uh, on this debate over whether or not to, to release the videos. He talked a lot about uh, his concern over, um, uh, you know, the narrative. I mean, he's giving the, the, the president credit uh, for, you know, Osama bin Laden, but really wonders if the whole debate this week uh, wasn't being shaped by the Obama administration where the story was changing and everything else. He called it incompetence, but one of a, more of a political worry than the, than the real worry. Also said uh, that it is ridiculous that we're leaking out as much information as we are about all the intel and said really that's just an effort by the Obama administration to continue to kind of feather their own, uh, own nest. And uh, it, it was a fascinating conversation. Check it out. You can search for it here at scotthannon.com. John Bolton, he'll make some big news with that that you'll probably hear in other places. Also, Deb Burlingame, uh, whose brother Chick was a pilot of American Airlines Flight 77, was on the program. Fascinating half-hour discussion. you got to hear it. She met one-on-one with President Obama along with other 9-11 family members. She challenged him directly uh, by saying, look, these enhanced interrogation techniques worked. Your administration, your attorney general is still not backing off the plans to prosecute the people that got the information that led us to bin Laden. Are you going to do something about it? Obama walked away from her, you know, gave her some flippant answer and walked away. She tells the whole story on the show today at scotthanna.com, so check it out. Don't forget we have the Scott line, so you can weigh in 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 701-484-1889. Check that out. And by the way, Secretary Don Rumsfeld will be our guest on the Monday program. Uh, We're going to get his take on this whole debate over the enhanced interrogation techniques and black sites, and he's seen the intel. He knows. So it'll be a great discussion. And uh, if you have a question for him, Ask it right now on the Scott line, and we'll play it for him, and you'll get your answer. Monday on the program, he starts the show. Also, a new debate on big oil. What are tax subsidies? Everybody says, you know, let's get rid of these tax subsidies for big oil. We're going to break that down because all that would do is increase the price of oil and mean less domestic production. Can't have that. Have a fabulous weekend, folks. God bless you. Thank you for watching the Scott Innan Show on the Common Sense Club. And uh, contact the chairman right over there on the left-hand side of the website. If you want to get a hold of me by email or on the contact form, or again, call 24-7 at 701-484-1889. Have a great weekend.